fast paced developments for the formation of the next government in Maharashtra. Devendra Fadnavis Cabinet India today will get you details. We are being told that the oath taking will take place on Friday. The Chief Minister likely to be Devendra Fadnavis, Deputy Chief Minister likely to be Iknat Shinde. This oath taking will take place on Friday. BJP MLAs and Iknat Shinde Sena MLAs to be a part of this oath taking ceremony. Likely births, and this is what sources are telling India today that at least 12 of the Iknat Shinde Sena are to be a part of the Devendra Fadnavis government. Likely independents in the cabinet could be at least three, is what we are being told at this stage. All of this is work in progress. Devendra Fadnavis and Iknat Shinde, uh, they've coordinated the battle so far. They are coordinating the road ahead. We are told that Iknat Shinde will be addressing the MLAs who are with him in Goa. 39 of the Shiv Sena MLAs and nine rebels are with him. He, of course, says the numbers that are with him uh, is more than 50. But I quickly want to cut across to India today's Polymi Saha breaking this down for us. And Polymi, you've scooped out inside details of what Devendra Fadnavis cabinet could look like. Bring us, bring us details. The details of it are still being worked out as we speak right now. That is what both camps are telling us. We've spoken to the Eknath Shinde camp and we've spoken uh, to the Padnavis camp as well. What they're saying is that there is a likelihood of only the chief minister and the deputy chief minister being sworn in within the next 48 hours. And then Devendra Padnavis is expected to attend the BJP's national executive meeting in Hyderabad, which is to happen on the 2nd and the 3rd of July. That is the weekend. So clearly... At the moment, those details and those negotiations are still underway. Eknath Shinde is likely to fly down to Mumbai and then sit across the table with Devendra Fadnavis for, uh, formally for the first time and get those uh, details etched out right now. There are demands that are being made uh, by both sides. We believe the Eknath Shinde camp wants ministerial births for all of those who already held ministerial births in the Uddhav Thakre-led government. Remember that nine ministers of the Uddhav Thakre-led Mahavika Sakhari government are now with the Eknath Shinde camp. So he wants some ministerial births for all of them. Also some others like Deepak Kesarkar who has proved to be extremely instrumental and very close uh, to uh, Eknath Shinde in this entire uh, process. Uh, uh, Deepak Kesarkar was not a minister. He wants a ministerial birth for Deepak Kesarkar. So these are negotiations and the details of it are still being worked out, Gaurav, at the moment. Okay, stay with me, stay with me, Polami. Uh, Deepak Kesarkar uh, emerged as the spokesperson uh, of the rebel Sena, was earlier a minister um, in, in, in Maharashtra. But I also want to cut across to Nagarjun Dwarkanath, who joins us from Goa uh, at the Taj. And the action certainly will shift from Goa to Mumbai. But we are told Iknath Shinde is to address his, the leaders with him before they move to Mumbai. But is there a time frame? when they move to Mumbai and do they all move in lock, stock and barrel together or some now, most later? Yes, as well, where Shinde addressed his legislators and uh, awaiting the final nod from the BJP as well and to when to come. But the local police are telling us that uh, sources here who are deployed are saying that uh, news coming in with, from the property is that it might be that only Shinde might come to Mumbai today post lunch and the rest of the rebel MLAs or the Shinde camp MLAs might come later in the day. Shinde camp MLAs might come later in the day. It would be Shinde. Other BJP senior leaders in Mumbai and later they would, uh, they would accompany the rest of the MLAs might accompany him. But the plan B is also there where all of them might go together and it could be a show of strength. Let me show you what is happening here. Uh, it's, it's a rainy day in Goa. Since morning, it has been pouring, and the security has been deployed here completely. And the security has been deployed here completely. The bus, which was not taken has come back. Oi, yes, Hero. The BGP of Goa has, has come back here. He visited the spot. The BGP of Goa president uh, has come here to meet Shinde and the uh, MLAs. So there has been few activities here. Uh, and everything points to the fact that it might be today evening or post lunch that Shinde and his camp MLAs might leave to uh, Mumbai 
and uh, like we are saying, most likely that the swearing in would be tomorrow, and Fadnavi should be going as chief minister. But the big question is, will Eknath Shinde take oath tomorrow alone, or will he take oath along with MLAs? That's the big question. But a lot of congratulatory messages coming in here at Taj Property. Uh, the local BGP leaders have come in and uh, congratulated them. Yesterday was the chief minister of Goa, Mr. Pramod Savant, who came here uh, himself, and BGP organization secretary, Mr. Satish of uh, the Goa State, also was here. The DGP just moments back came and saw the security preparations. It's been raining since morning, so that might also be a factor. Is, is this weather suitable enough for takeoff of the aircraft? There'll be water logging on the air runway as well. So all this uh, incidents uh, will matter to the MLAs here. So final note after what happens in Mumbai with the BJP as well.